apply online through the DCAA's website. Okay, on the website it says there, register drone. You go to that, you click the icon, and then you basically follow the, 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 the instructions. So it'll give you, ask you for your name, Mr. Mrs., your name, your surname, your location, your Emirates ID, because you need to have some form of identification. And then it would go to, for example, the drone that you're flying has a serial number. All drones have a serial number, same as your, your mobile phone. That serial number needs to be included. It will also be the type, for example, a DJI Spark, a DJI Mavic Pro, a DJI Phantom, okay? And then um, the, the, uh, those, the documents, in other words, a, a, a passport size copy of a, of, a, of a photograph, that gets submitted online. And normally, between five and 10 working days, we can turn it around. You'll get an email to visit the DCA offices, whereby you'll be given your registration card, as well as a safety brief on the contents of the leaflet. And the leaflet will show you exactly where you can fly, where you can't fly, what are sensitive areas, what are no-fly zones. We are now in agreement with the with the license holders for a number of, of uh, large retail stores that we have a process. The process is you would go to the to the, the, the retail store, let's say for example a Sharaf DG or a Carrefour. You would identify the drone that you want to buy, you would pay for it but you wouldn't be able to remove it from the store. They would require that you register online, get your registration card, return to the store and once you show them that you are registered with the DCAA with your registration card, you collect the drone. So at least that we know that you are operating inside of the laws of the Emirate of Dubai and that we're not going to have any problems. That is for the hobbyist, which is a blue card. And if you were a commercial operator, there you can see distinctly that one has a red line. By civil aviation perspective, we, we track and monitor all drone uh, RPS UAS activities within the Emirate of Dubai. How do we do that? Through a little sky tracker device. This device is attached to the drone, whether it be uh, something as small as a Spark to something as big as an M600 by DJI, and allows me to plot on the screen where the drone is at any one time with reference to commercial traffic. So what we do is we put in parameters, in other words, distances that we want the drone to remain clear of controlled uh, um, commercial traffic, as well as height limitations and the areas. So over here, for example, there we can see a drone that's flying now, right? That means he's green. That means he's got safe operations. That's his call sign. And he's got all the permissions. If it changed to amber or to red, I would know that he's transgressed the airspace or otherwise he's operating outside of what the, the, the uh, no objection certificate says. So there we can see that's a green flight and he's well clear of all traffic. So my, my uh, dashboard over here shows me that it's a safe operation and I know that I'm not going to have a problem with him. And that information that's giving me this location comes from this tracking device. It's called a Sky Commander and it's mandatory at the moment for all commercial operators to attach the Sky Commander to their uh, RFS or UAV when they are doing any kind of event or project. No fly zone, for example, this is DXB, you can see the red. And obviously, the traffic coming to and departing from uh, Dubai International has to be protected. So, a no fly zone is that you may not operate in that area at any time, 24 7. A green zone means that you need to have permission from either the landowner or that entity. For example, over here, that's, uh, that is the, uh, the Minhad uh, military base. This is over here, this is the, the Persia Arab. So, you need to have permission. To to operate within that that area. Other than that, remaining below 400 feet, um, outside of controlled airspace, away from buildings and people, you can offer operate safely. From a Dubai police perspective, they're looking at irregularities. In other words, someone that's maybe driving mischievously, uh, maybe uh, crossing the, 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 the white solid line, uh, going through stop signs, etc. So their part is looking for any kind of criminal act associated to driving a vehicle. So they're able to monitor that by means of the drone. We're looking at continuing with the proof of concept through the rest of this year, which is only a couple of weeks. By early 2018, we'll have this mandated and, and, and uh, all traffic monitoring will be done will be taking place in the skies over the Emirates of Dubai.